Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Preschool Chapel. I hope that you are having a fabulous day. I hope that your week is just going great, and I really wish that I could come and be with you and give all of my friends a special hug, but can't do that yet. We're still being super careful and being really careful with our germs and who comes in and out of our building, so I'm going to stay over here on my side of the building. You guys stay over there, but that doesn't mean that we can't learn together and grow together in our faith of Jesus. Today, I want to tell you a story. I'm going to read it to you from this book, actually. You know, sometimes when I get excited and I have some really good news to share... I use a lot of words. I get so excited that I just keep talking and talking and talking and talking until the person that I'm trying to tell it to wants to put their fingers in their ears and go, stop talking, Miss Chris. Just get to the point. You know, that's the way I get sometimes when I want to tell somebody about Jesus. I just get so excited that I just want to keep talking and talking and talking. You know, the story of Jesus is also known as the gospel or the good news. And it's a really simple story that doesn't require a whole lot of words. But you guys can learn four words today that'll teach you everything that you need to know about the good news of Jesus, the gospel. So this story is called, Wow. And I'm gonna read it to you now. I think that you're gonna like it. It's one of my favorite stories. Back in the beginning, the world was still dark. No light, no lightning, not even a spark. No schools and no houses, no playground or park. Wow. That's our first word. Then wow. All God did was say, let there be light. He called the light day and the dark he called night. The world God created was perfect and right. Look up in the sky because here comes the sun. At night count the stars if you can one by one. Then gaze at the moon and say, wow, God, well done. Just look at the wonders that God has in store, like birds and fish and tigers and horses and more. Wow! Creatures with two legs and creatures with four. And then God made people, a woman and a man, for Adam and Eve were both part of God's plan. They lived in God's garden. That's where life began. Wow! Our first word is Wow, God did a really great thing by making the earth. Our second word is, uh-oh. Now, Adam and Eve had the world at their feet. The Garden of Eden held every treat. Only one tree from which one could not eat. Along came the snake, who is as bad as can be. Did God say, don't eat? You shouldn't listen to me. That fruit, it's the best and Eve chose to agree. So Eve took a bite, uh-oh, and Adam did too. And God saw it all, children, what did you do? Since then we all sin, that means me and that means you. We have to say uh-oh when we're in a bad place. We can't earn God's favor or talk face to face. We're helpless and hopeless in need of God's grace. So first it was wow. God did a really great thing by making the earth. And then uh-oh, Adam and Eve sinned, which means you and I will too. Our third word is yes. But God had a wonderful, masterful plan. I'll pay for their sin because only I can. I'll save the world by becoming a man. God loved us so much that he sent his son. Jesus was born and the plan was begun. His life was just perfect. No sin, no, not one. 
yet people grow jealous. Don't trust him, beware. They had him arrested. His trial was unfair. He died on a cross. He was crucified there. But that's not the end. Jesus rose from the dead. He came back to life just like he said and gave us a promise of what lies ahead. For Christ is the life and the truth and the way for all who believe and receive him today. Say yes, and your new life will begin right away. So first it was, wow, God created a beautiful thing. Then it was, uh-oh, sin messed it up. But if we say yes to Jesus, our next word is ah. Oh. Our life is in Jesus, our very best friend. He'll always be with us right up to the end. For we have the spirit he promised to send. With Jesus beside us, there's nothing to fear. No matter what happens, our Savior is near. Then when we're in heaven, he'll wipe every tear. We'll join all the angels in heaven to sing. I'll praise to the Father in Jesus, the King, the ruler of heaven who made everything. No matter what happens, Christ lives in your heart. Ah, oh, what a great gift that you get a fresh start. Now, no one and nothing can keep you apart. So first it was, wow, God made a great thing. Then it was, uh-oh, but sin messed it up. Then it was, yes, to Jesus. And then it's, ah, it's a great gift, a fresh start. The fruit of the Spirit that's in you will grow. Now love, joy, and patience are starting to show. You walk with the Savior wherever you go. Be thankful for Jesus. Let love overflow. Tell others God loves them. The world needs to know. And sharing this news helps your own faith to grow. So, wow. And uh-oh. And yes. And ah. Uh, they tell us a wonderful story of Jesus' love for you and God's creation that was messed up by sin, but Jesus fixed it, and he will fix us too. Girls and boys, I hope you have a great day, and I hope that you can tell the story of Jesus in four short words. Wow, uh-oh, yes, and ah. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. And thank you for the boys and girls on the other side of this camera who are listening to you. And Lord, I just ask you to bless them and put in them a love for you that others will see. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen.